Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Hey, look, it's R2 Piss Yellow 2. You suck. The Star Wars prequels suck big blue hairy donkey balls. <laughs> Ultramaximus back with another retro review, and today we're going to rewind it all the way back to 2002 with a Star Wars Attack of the Clones sneak peek figure. It's R3T7. Now, I actually thought this was R3Y2, uh, a droid that we saw in um, the Empire Strikes Back on the Hoth base for like maybe three seconds over by um, the main view screen as the base was crumbling. It is almost identical to this droid except that there's some red lights around on the dome which are not present here. Um, I'm sure it was probably just a reuse of the droid um, toy. Now, we I don't remember seeing this actually in Attack of the Clones. He might have been one of the droids on one of the starships. I can't remember. If you know, leave a comment down below. I didn't want to dig through the movie and look for it, but I couldn't find any images of him in the film. But he was one of the figures that came out in the Sneak Peek series. Um, the figure actually has a 2001 stamp on it, but it came out in 2002 because the film, I think, came out in 2003. Now, he had a bunch of uh, electrical, um, plastic, uh, lightning-type rubber stuff that went around the body. I obviously don't have it here. I found this guy at my local flea market, uh, the Emporium 31 on the south side of Indy here in Greenwood. Uh, he was in the 5 for 5 bin, and I love a good droid a toy, so I went ahead and picked him up. Um, he looks all funky and dirty, and well, that's the way he was painted back in the day to give him kind of a used look, and well, that's how I like my Star Wars figures. Because Star Wars is a used universe, uh, and uh, that's pretty darn cool to me. Now, it's basically an R2-D2, but he's got a, a little see-through dome here, if I can get it to focus. Focus! There we go. So you can actually see his little brain in there, which is pretty darn cool. I definitely dig that. Uh, he is a, a neon puke green, which is interesting. Now, as far as articulation goes on this droid, his head spins all the way around. It's got the nice clicky noise. Um, his little legs uh, move up and down, and then his third leg has a hinge there. The uh, feet have hinges as well, and then you can push the uh, third leg up into the astromech right there. And there we have him back into focus. So yeah, definitely really, really fun. Um, I just like Astromex. I, I like how there's a lot of variety to them. I mean, they're pretty easy to repaint and uh, reissue, so yay, Star Wars repaints. So taking a closer look at the droid itself, I love the fact he's got the clear dome. Uh, it's very interesting. The lime green is kind of an interesting choice. Um, I like the silver paint, the blue paint apps on there. He's got the little black dot. Um, and then he's got some silver apps on the side of the leg there. I like how you can see the internal brain of the astromech. I think that's pretty cool. There's some brown paint uh, on the top of the figure, which I initially thought was um, just paint scuffing, but he's actually kind of got a dirty paint job going on, whereas the white is kind of a dirty white, which is cool. And he's got uh, these kind of two brown stripes on his left side. Again, I thought they were like pencil marks or something. No, it's actually paint on the droid, which is pretty cool. And then taking a look at the bottom of the droid, again, I like the blue, uh, the kind of uh, you know, lime green is interesting. All the kind of dirty gray paint wash on the white looks nice. Um, we've got uh, nice detail everywhere. Uh, some silver paint apps there at the bottom of uh, the droid itself. Some blue paint apps on the third leg. 
uh, which is nice, and then some more green paint apps and silver on the sides. Um, more paint apps around the bottom. I mean, this thing actually has a lot of different paint apps uh, on it for a figure of its age, which is really, really cool. It just helps diversify the Astromech collection up on my shelf. For comparison, here we have R3-T7 next to R2-D2, and he's a lot grimier than R2. R2 is very bright and pretty here. This is the R2 that when you push the button, he would make all the noise and the, the, the dome on this one doesn't rotate. Unfortunately, the battery's long dead on this guy. I gotta get a new one, but uh, yeah, it's definitely cool seeing the two of these uh, droids side by side. I'm gonna have to get a shelf and just put all the different little R2 units I have up together. Um, definitely fun to see different astromechs next to each other. So is R3-T7 the sneak peek droid from Attack of the Clones something you want in your Star Wars collection? Well, uh, this could be an easy pass to uh, a Fairweather fan. If you are a fan of the Astromechs, this is definitely something I think you'd probably want to pick up. If you're collecting all the three and three quarter inch Astromechs, um, you, you need this guy. You just need him. Um, he could easily be turned into an R3-Y2. Um, if they haven't put him out, I don't know if they put him out. There's so many Astromechs out there. Uh, I didn't have this guy in my collection. I love the fact he's got the clear dome. Uh, those are always really fun to me. And it was kind of cool to discover that what I thought was dirt and, you know, pencil marks and paint scuffs were actually deliberately painted on the, this figure, which is very, very nice. Unfortunately, I don't have the little electrical, um, you know, uh, props that he comes with or he came with initially, but that's okay because, well, you know, it's all about the droid itself. So, yeah, there he is, R3-T7, the sneak peek Star Wars figure from Attack of the Clones. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.